Now, two opposing protests are taking place in central Seoul tonight. One demanding President Park and Hayes removal from office for her role in the corruption scandal gripping the nation. The other for her to remain in power. Ian Shin with the details. It's another loud, spirited, yet peaceful protest demanding President Park's removal from the top office. But this weekend's gathering in Seoul's central Gwangamun Square holds extra significance than the ones held on Saturdays gone by. Organizers estimate up to one million citizens are attending what is the 19th and possibly last rally, as the Constitutional Court could hand down its impeachment ruling as early as this coming Friday, March 10th. The ruling will decide President Park's political fate. The National Assembly approved the motion to impeach her in December, and if the motion is overturned, the president will go back to work. But if the court upholds it, the president will be formally impeached, which is what the protesters here have been demanding for several weeks. I haven't missed a single rally, and here I am again today. Just like many do here, I think that the president disgraced herself for her role in the power abuse scandal. We want the Constitutional Court to remove President Park from the top office. I missed a couple protests, but I've been coming here almost every Saturday to demand the president to resign. I hope the court makes the right decision. On the verge of knowing the president's fate, those in favor of her staying in power have also come out in force. Outside Seoul City Hall, calling for the Constitutional Court to overturn the National Assembly's impeachment motion, organizers of a pro pog rally say several hundred thousand protesters have shown up, although that number cannot be verified. As with weeks gone by, they've been waving the Korean flag, but some are brandishing the American flag also. Pundits explain the protesters, mostly conservatives, wave the stars and stripes to highlight their support for the South Korea-U.S. alliance, which they say the Park administration has focused on strengthening. Some political experts added that the court's decision could be handed down on the 13th instead of the 10th, considering it could take up to two weeks for the justices to reach a decision after the final hearing. And if so, this Gwangamun Square will once again be filled with determined citizens next Saturday, hoping for a swift decision from the court that will formally impeach President Park Geun-hye.